Hey everyone, Alex here today, and I want to give you a quick update on what's been going on personally and also address why there hasn't been a whole lot of videos because things have been very, very, very busy, as they always seem to be. Uh, right now, I got some footage here of one of the best strategy games I think has ever been made. Now, most a lot of people agree with, and that is Age of Empires 2. And here you get to watch me try and build my village up and get it prepared for conquest. This is actually one of the games where I did a little bit better. Where I didn't get steamrolled early on by the AI, but of course there's always something that I miss because this game is actually quite complex. And you'll see me completely ignore my navy, which I will get completely steamrolled later on. But if we get there, we get there. We'll see. But anyways. So the last two weeks, I have been finally closing down my apartment in Portland, Oregon, and transitioning from Portland, Oregon to Tucson, Arizona, where I have been working at since August. Now, normally it doesn't take a week and a half to close down an apartment, but in my case it did. And there were a lot of reasons for it, but one of the big issues was that our movers kind of ditched us. They were contracted by my company to come and pick everything up and to help us out and pack everything and they came in and right from the get-go they said nope you know anything that's not going to tucson we're not going to touch because we had some goods going to, to a few other places uh that uh, we wanted to ship them to we said okay well fine fair enough <laughs> just handle everything from tucson but one of the things that happened was, you know, I talked with the uh, the crew chief and I was like, hey, I know you've been here for, for a long time and they were clearly getting frustrated with how long this was taking. But I said, hey, you know, at one o'clock, no matter where we, me and my family are at, you guys are free to go. He's like, OK, that's fine. That, that's cool. I said, hey, OK, she, my wife and I, we need to go out and get something because she hadn't eaten all day. You know, she had not eaten breakfast or anything. She's been working the whole time. And we need to go out and get something. We'll be right back in 10 minutes. We came back in 10 minutes and they were gone. The van was gone. The workers were gone. The equipment was gone. <laughs> they were gone. I'm like, well, what the heck's going on here? So I called them up and I was trying to get, out, get a hold of them and they wouldn't even pick up their phone. Like, what, what the heck? <laughs> Finally, they talked to me a little bit later and they was like, well, we think that you left and it was extremely rude and we just left you guys and that was it. I'm like, seriously, dude? <laughs> so, to make a long story short, not all the items that were meant to go to Tucson had gotten picked up. And my wife and I had to scrabble and, and deal with this. I was like, well, what do we do now? In the end, we had a storage locker. And thankfully, we had not closed it down at that point. We had emptied it. But we had not closed it. I was like, well, we got a storage locker. So we took the items that were left and moved into the storage locker. So now, even though the apartment in Portland is closed, not all of my items are out of Portland. Nor my wife's. <laughs> They're all still up there. My wife had to go back to school. She's studying abroad. That's where one of the places where some of those items need to go to. And we were stuck. And you know, during this whole time, I'm missing work. I need to get back to Tucson. I told my work I was going to be out for. Uh, a couple days I had actually booked hours ahead of time I, I did uh, extra hours and uh, banked hours to cover those days but then I went, went over that because of this situation so that was uh, that was pretty frustrating uh, to say the least this is something that is still ongoing and something that uh, I will of course address with my company and uh, the relocation company. I think I'll start with the relocation company first because they're the ones that directly contracted this, this company as Lewis and they were asking, hey, did things go okay? No, <laughs> things did not go okay. And I will probably talk to them tomorrow on Monday. So, I mean, that's just one example of a lot of the stress that I've been under recently. And, um, you know, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> And that's why I play video games sometimes. Sometimes I play video games not just for enjoyment, but just to decompress and get the stress out. And uh, there's just um, a lot of things going on. So I have been playing Dota 2 a lot recently. 
Um, I know that's probably not a lot of the footage that people like to see. They want to see uh, EVE Online, they want to see Guild Wars, and they want to see uh, maybe some other things. So, I really enjoy Dota 2. I think I'm, I'm going to continue to play it because I am starting to get a little bit more skilled at it, although compared to you know, the professional scene, I'm, I'm a very small fish. But it comes down to the question of the channel, do I go broad? Or do I go in depth? Do I focus on one game? Do I focus on a couple? And I don't like the fact of focusing on one game because my fate is tied to that one game. This is something that Total Biscuit mentioned a while ago on um, one of his videos, you know, in, in memory of Total Biscuit. Uh, but he brought up the point really well when he did the uh, WTF series of his videos. It was like, before that, it was all World of Warcraft, and he was tied to World of Warcraft whether it went up or went down, and he wanted to divorce himself from that game, as great as it was and, and is, and become more general. And I kind of see myself doing the same thing. I love EVE Online, but I like a lot of other games. I love Guild Wars. I love Guild Wars uh, 2, even. I'm starting to get into that. I love strategy gaming. I love RPGs, and I think I'm really going to spread out broad rather than just strictly depth. I will continue, of course, to do my series on EVE Online, I'll continue to uh, do stuff for Guild Wars, I'll continue to do stuff for Dota 2, but I think I'm going to continue to do videos for other games. Secret World, that was another game that I've been uh, picking up recently, gotten some good feedback on that one. And what's another game I've done recently? Uh, I actually matched with Gathering Arena, now officially launched, finally out of beta for seems like forever and frankly i didn't even know so it wasn't beta it was uh it was at that point i may do some videos on that although my decks are completely screwed up right now because the the decks have been rotated and the card sets or the blocks of ixalan dominaria and, and uh, 2019 core set have been rotated out into what they call historical or in the dead tree version we call modern and now the new standard version is there. Now that standard version is going to be there for quite a while. And so I'm trying to reconstruct my decks to uh, do what I wanted to do before. And we'll see how that goes. So games like what you see here, Age of Empires 2. Um, also other strategy games such as Stellaris, Supreme Commander, Supreme Commander 2, maybe Red Alert. A lot of great strategy games out there for a genre that's kind of petered away. We haven't had a really good strategy game that's come out since really StarCraft 2. And uh, it's definitely a genre that seems to be on ice, at least for a while. But thankfully, we have a lot of great games in the genre. But kind of like the adventure genre, or for a while there, the fighting game genre, it could be on ice for a while until someone kind of reinvents the genre a little bit. So anyways, I want to make this quick video just to tell you guys what's been going on with my life again my move that was one example thankfully we did quote finish it i'm gonna say that in quotes because we still have a storage locker of stuff but that i can handle on my own but there's a, a lot of other things going on my wife is in school and um, we're dealing with that there's some struggles with that right now and we'll see how that's gonna go and then of course i got my new job I'm trying to keep that above water <laughs> Thankfully, they've been, they've been very understanding of my struggles. You know, earlier this year, we had a, a family event. I won't say event. It was a, an emergency that had to be dealt with, so I had to take a week off for that. And it's been a whole bunch of stuff this year. So I've not been very consistent, and that's been the case for a while. And frankly, I can't make any more promises. I mean, I can't say that's because, you know, this is it or I'll be more consistent. But frankly, I'm not, I'm not in that position at this point. So I will make content when I can, and basically that's all I can promise at this point. So I hope everyone understands. If there's something you want to see, if there's something you would like to focus more on, please let me know. Um, I'm very responsive to comments. The comments have been actually quite good, which is surprising given the nature of YouTube. Uh, a lot of people think it's, it's a troll's uh, heaven, basically. But most of the uh, responses have been... Um, pretty above board i'm very uh, very happy to see that so we'll see how things go anyways take care guys talk to you soon and i'll be sure to to keep the 
the videos coming and I hope you enjoy it. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon.